like to tell you about one of the best things in the world, Night Sounds Radio with Bill Pierce. It's so good that it's almost too painful to listen to. <laughs> He's got the most amazing taste in music. It can be real jazzy or it can be a choral like this. He's he's just got a gift. So he's been on the radio. He passed away a few years ago. He was running marathons until he was really old. He was a world-class trombonist. And uh, a lot of truck drivers have been listening to night sounds through their deep into the night runs. Um... This is why Eustace Mullins, or I should say Eustace, when they asked him, do you got any hope for the future? Because he was such a brilliant man, and he knew all the bad stuff. He said, America is sound. I think America is sound. And a big part of it is because of um, uh, our Christian radio for quite a while. I was lucky enough to have a job where I could just put on headphones and I listened to it all the time and got saturated, but um, what I'm saying is, is this is stuff that they do not know, just like they don't understand music or comedy, they just, all they can do is find out, oh, who is really popular and beloved by someone, like after Leonard Skinner had all those pretty girls screaming at him, he was dead within a few months, remember that? It's not because they understand who's popular and they off him, like Freddie Prince. What they do is they gauge by the reactions of other people. These loser, weirdo, idiot, Satanist, soulless, screw-ups. So, um, they have no idea about the underground. That there is an underground. There has always been an underground. This is the second outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Well, hey, what we we're waiting for it, but you know what? It already came because it's already been two thousand years around, and now looking back, it makes sense. It's already come because the Holy Spirit, from what I heard from J. Vernon McGee, also a peerless Bible scholar, he said the gi- everyone has a the gift, uh, some kind of a gift. And even the word goodness does not mean goody two shoes. Goodness in it, 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 the translation means you're good at something. Like what you're good at. Like whether it's fixing uh, go karts or something like that, or making go karts for tomboy girls like me, <laughs> which I never had. I call it the no go kart. The Holy Spirit is what enables you to to do your gifts. Now, so when you think about it, it's like, well, the Holy Spirit has come because somewhere around this period, the latter part of the century, and even the whole century, a lot of people were enabled to give so many gifts, so much talent, so much music, musical talent, so much architectural talent, so many art, uh, so many um, talented people in in every way. From like from home economics to to um, to therapy, I just like Hegstrom and um, Paul Pearsall, I'm I'm saying that the, this must have been what happened. It was not under the guise of a church movement or speaking in tongues. No, this was the uh, worldwide uh, you know gifts of the good old USA. And all uh, that it, that that all that freedom makes you smart. It makes you able to think. So, when you look at Dostoevsky's writings, which I don't have time to, but I I'm listening to people that do know how to regurgitate it well. Um, it seems like these bad guys want to give you a big kaboom every 30 years. Think about it: Vietnam War, 30 years kaboom. 9/11, uh, 30 years before Vietnam was World War II. So yeah, they're giving us kabooms every 30 years. So um, these people uh, will never get what they're looking for, and I'm I'm I've, I'm pretty sure about that. The only thing is, as I know, that it's very easy to make a mess while they're trying to do that, and that's where um, the faith, meaning. Um, this is where it's going to show up. Who who can handle the mess, I guess. I'm not sure what faith means, really, or what he's looking for. Um, 
There's an inter interesting testimony of a guy named Ted Teddy Hung from Hong Kong. He died now. He was a big gangster or a triad, and he said that he, he was taken by God to see a bunch of people in everyone's wearing brown. I'd love to know what that means. But it's almost like right now, like everybody is uh, kind of tied up in a tight situation.